Hey, what's going on to you, Virgos? So, you have the Three of Swords, the Four of Swords, and you have the Sun card right here for you, Virgos. Um, there's definitely a sense of regret, heartbreak that you, Virgos, have caused somebody that, but they, you, Virgos, caused this person heartbreak, but there's a caveat to it. And the caveat to that is they were playing games with you. They were playing. <laughs> they were playing. And they messed around and found out that you Virgos were being very much so serious. You know, sometimes people can play like that when it comes to Virgos, you know, especially if you're a serious minded individual and you as a Virgo, you know, regardless of whatever you into, you really got a plan. You really got vision, especially if you don't have any too much time to waste. A lot of people can end up really painting themselves into corners, thinking that they playing a game with y'all. You know, so here this person is regretting the fact that you Virgos are no longer in their life. And the only person that they have to blame for that is themselves because of their own ego playing games with you. But now the Page of Cups and the Star card right here, excuse me, Page of Pentacles, excuse me, is about how, again, Page of Pentacles, Star card, you Virgos are going after your dreams. You Virgos are not, not just your dreams, excuse me, your visions. Your, you Virgos are striving to accomplish the things that you've been wanting to accomplish for a very long time. So if there's any kind of long-term goals that you Virgos have had, pay attention. Look, why do I have to lie? You Virgos are striving to actually accomplish it. The, the things that you pedestalize. You're not pedestalizing another human being. You're pedestalizing yourself. But you're doing it in a way of you're going after your goals, the things that you've been wanting to accomplish for a very long time that you're in a position to actually accomplish now, right? Now you know what it is that you want to do and your mind isn't so scattered. Now you have the knowledge, you Virgos are actually doing that. You don't even, some of you Virgos, another thing that I'm seeing here is that a lot of, the, a lot of you Virgos don't even want relationships right now. <laughs> a lot of you may see relationships like it's a, it's a, a blight it's the wall in the way because to get into a relationship for what to get what to get dysfunction to get people s testing you all the time right and this is why a lot of people this is what's messing up the dating pool right it's because a lot of people who have tried their hands and tried and tried and tried, they're burned out. And they probably will never regain a full tank of gas of energy to be able to actually start to flirt again and actually to, to do that consecutively because they know what it feels like, right? Constantly, right? You Virgos know what it feels like to constantly have to go through that rejection. And people will tell you things and, and and if it was true, a lot of that stuff, it would more than likely the stuff that you would get turned down for, it would be consistent. You, you understand what I'm saying? But a lot of the times when you Virgos probably got got um turned down, it was inconsistent, you know? Your shoes, your hair, um, kind of shirt that you got on you don't look like you have money you look like you poor and it's like but those are some of the richest people is when they act like they poor they don't want to they're deliberately trying their hardest to not draw attention that's the point of it so they trying to make sure that they don't get too much attention and that people see them for who they are as opposed to their money because they have so much money. They don't want people, they don't wanna be sitting behind the money 
but a stack of hundred dollar bills that they have to constantly come out from behind of you understand what i'm saying they want to they want to represent themselves first they don't want to they don't want to have their wallet lead for them they want to lead their wallet so a lot of you virgos like i said before because people have this delusional transactional playing games attention seeking kind of game that they play right breaking people's hearts a lot of you virgos are here with it a lot of you are like look a lot of you virgos you understand you have a small opportunity to legitimately uh live your life and get things done that you legitimately want to get done and i just see how it is that a lot of you virgos are like you're not going to squander this opportunity wasting time to, ha to have a significant other because truth be told a lot of you what i'm about to say is going to be real harsh in this video the eight of swords right the eight, the eight of Swords, the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands. The King of Wands represents the opportunities romantically that a lot of you Virgos are getting. And it's not even romantic interest that you Virgos really even want to kind of to piggyback off of what it is that I was just talking about. And what I'm about to say is going to hurt even more, you know, to people who, who cross-watching who, who's in that same situation, who, who know you, who took you for granted, right? You Virgos don't want to have to deal with somebody or, or, to, or be in a situation because of the fact that you burnt out. You Virgos don't want to have to deal with with where you should have been you should have had a relationship already but everybody want to play play games so much so much to the point where you virgos don't want to deal with that now that you virgos don't want to deal with it it's a complete flip it's a complete 180 now you virgos don't want to deal. before people didn't want to deal with you now you Virgos got other things going on that you're going after to develop yourselves. Even if it's not the same individuals that dubbed you, it's the same energy where it's like you... If we if we if we were living in a world where it made sense, you would have been already had your person. But now it's like now you don't care whether or not you have your person. Now people are romantically interested, and I honestly see with these five cards, right, that you Virgos at this current point in time, especially if you have a life and. You have goals that you are truly seeking and skills and everything like that. You don't give a damn because, again, a lot of you Virgos are like, why is it that people only see? Why is it that people only want to stop playing blind to seeing another person's value until it's too late? So I just, so honestly, I see a lot of you Virgos being like you you being cold to this, you being like you don't care, you don't care. A lot of you Virgos are like you don't care about this stuff. You don't care if people are into you. You don't care because they honestly should have taken you seriously from the beginning, but the flaw was on them because they were playing. And they were too stupid to understand that the, the, way, the way, the best way to win this game or the only way to win the game is to not play. People decided to play with you Virgos' time, 
your attention, the love that you Virgos were trying to was trying to give, and they didn't take you Virgos seriously. So because they didn't take you seriously, you Virgos was like, okay, fine, it's cool. You're gonna go back to the lab, your own lab. And what I mean when I say the lab, I'm talking about you Virgos are gonna go back to your life. You're not gonna bother anybody. You're gonna go on about your business and you're gonna continue to progress and grow. But now other people want you now. So now the Ten of Wands and the Emperor, they're steadily, well, not the, not the Emperor. The Ten of Wands represents now they're steadily, now a lot of people are steadily trying to offer you a form of value into your life. Because now it's the catch-22 that a lot of people are having of, again, it's the Queen's Gambit, right? Like in chess, it's the Queen's Gambit where, or the gamble, right? Not like, not like gamble, like slot machines, but like gamble in the sense of like, you Virgos have more value now. And a lot more people, everybody is getting older. So now a lot of people are seeing how it is that you Virgos turned out in a good way, right? You made very good decisions. So now it's a situation for you Virgos where because you've made good decisions, right? With your time, a lot of it's, it's the, it's the, other people wasted a lot of their time playing the game. They don't know you, right? They don't know you. They, this is not people that you've known from childhood. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about brand new people that wasted their time that see you Virgos and they're like, okay, you Virgos are serious minded individuals. So now it's like they're trying to, to, to offer you value because they know you Virgos, or they have a hunch that you Virgos are not going for that nonsense. They know that you Virgos, they know that they're gonna have to offer value as soon as they step in because they, they, they don't necessarily know it for sure, but they're thinking to themselves that if they don't show value immediately, why would anybody wanna have them around? And they know this. So now it's this catch-22 for them where it's a it's a catch-22 for them where they wasted so much time playing games. They could have had, they could have been in a, in a functional, uh, long-lasting, strong relationship, but they chose not to get in one. So now they see you, Virgos, and then now it's like, they have the mentality of I better I better go ahead and show the Virgo some value. Otherwise, this Virgo can tell me to F off and I'm going to be by myself again. So I might as well go ahead and show this Virgo some value. So now you Virgos are starting to have people competing for you. More than one. And the emperor represents you Virgos can just reap, right? Reap or take in or harvest the benefits to that because now you Virgos are like, hey, you know, this is treatment, honestly, that you Virgos should have had for the longest time. A per people should have been much more patient with you Virgos because Virgos are natural late bloomers. We bloom normally, right, on average. We bloom late. I looked like this when I was younger, not exactly like this, but I didn't, I wasn't in positions to have money when I was younger. And I'm still not the richest person now, but it is build. it's slow, but it is building up though in its own right. And now, 
it's a situation where I'm sitting back and enjoying the time that I have. And I don't really care whether or not a significant other walks into the doorway or not. Because for me, I don't care because it would I've I've had dates and stuff like this, but it was only dates as far as in name. It wasn't for the most part, I'll say ninety nine percent of it, it wasn't anything where anything actually happened. There was no milestones being reached. It was just getting to know each other only in name. <laughs> right? Ninety nine percent of the times, right? Because one, I was too young. Then when I reached of age, yeah, met some new shorties, right, so to speak. But again, only a name. Only a name, right? Then became a young adult in my 20s, right, my early 20s. Only a name. It was only until 25 somebody showed me how serious things can get in a good way. But since then, you know, again... A lot of that stuff, only a name. They, they, you know, a lot of people proclaim or they act like they're real, but they're that's what they're doing. They're acting. And, and so now, right, I got my own thing. Ah, oh, snap. I got my own thing going on. Ah, what a nerd. <laughs> but I got my own thing going on. Now I don't really care if I'm in relationships. And I'm a Virgo saying this. So I can, I, I speak directly to this reading when it's like, it's it's spot on for real, for real. But let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the emperor. Two of swords, the nine of wands, the empress, the seven of swords. And then you have the sun card right here. So the two of swords and the nine of wands represents yet again how a lot of you Virgos, you can afford, right? The two of swords and the nine of wands speaks to, you know, just don't get too guarded. But other than that, you Virgos have been around the block. You 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 have plenty of experiences. And you know that a lot of a lot of the things that people try to make it a lot of the things that are important that people act like are important or not. And this is why a lot of people miss out on great individuals because they don't, they, they, they in the game, right? They go to the extent of hiring significant others. They hire people to play like they are their true significant other. They hire them. They pay them, they pay them, they hire them. They do. You know, I'm not going to get too deep into that one. But the Empress and the Seven of Swords now represents, to clarify the Empress, right? Emperor, Empress is that, but now they want to be your significant other. They want to be your Empress. They want to, they want to now start to, to show you that they could be your significant other, Right? And the sun card, right, represents you have to take time to really get to know them because you want to make sure that they're not in the game. And that's the catch-22 because you Virgos are in a position to now take it or leave it. A lot of you Virgos are like, even if you don't work out, who cares? Because it just seems like so many people out here capping anyway. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe.